Let us talk about boron, one of the most complicated, if not the most complicated element in the periodic system. Let us talk about the recent discovery made by our team of a very large international collaboration, recent discovery of a new unexpected phase of this complicated element. This discovery changes some of our fundamental ideas about chemical bonding and crystal structures. We discovered a form of an element, boron, which is ionic, which means that in the same crystal you have part of boron atoms which are positively charged and part negatively charged. But these are not elements of different, uh, not atoms of different elements. These are atoms of the same chemical element in the same crystal structure. Boron is known uh, for its extreme complica complications for uh, chemists. Uh, it is located in the periodic system between the metals and non-metals. It is an element, if you like, of split personality because this element is frustrated and doesn't, what, doesn't know what it wants to do, whether it wants to be a metal or a non-metal. This frustration has uh, created a large number of complicated, non-trivial and energetically competitive structures of boron. And this frustration is responsible for a very difficult history of this element. Element, the discovery of which was first independently announced by two teams of great chemists, Joseph Louis Gay Lussac, working with Louis Joseph Tenard in Paris, and hum Sir Humphrey Davy, uh, working in London. These two teams independently uh, announced the discovery of a new chemical element, but later it was proven that neither team has synthesized an actual element. Both synthesized a compound which contained about maybe 50 or 60 percent of the element boron. The man who definitively proved uh, that uh, this was not an element but a compound was another great chemist, Henri Moissan from France. He claimed that his material is a pure element, but later it was proven that it was also a compound, this time containing about 90 percent of boron. A great uh, German chemist, Friedrich Wöhler, in his classical textbook, wrote that boron crystallizes in two polymorphic modifications, diamond-like and graphite-like modifications. Today we know that both of these are not boron modifications, but compounds, even compounds having different chemical formulae. Today, the situation is not much better. Today we know 16 different uh, polymorphs of boron, but we still don't know which ones are stable, and we still don't know which ones correspond to pure element boron. Many of these forms may still correspond to impurity-stabilized forms of the element or even chemical compounds. One of the forms of boron for which we are almost sure that it, that it is stable at certain conditions for pure boron is beta boron. You can see a photograph of this rather visually unattractive uh, material on the slide. The situation has changed in 2004 when two experimental teams, one led by Ji Hua Chen, now a professor at Florida International University, and Vladimir Solozhenko, uh, director of research at uh, CNRS in Paris, synthesized independently, not knowing anything about the work of each other, a new form of boron. To synthesize this new form of boron, they had to apply pressures of over 100,000 atmospheres and couple it with also high temperatures. Both teams synthesized the same material. Both teams were not able to solve crystal structure from just the experimental data. This is when Ji Hua Chen contacted me and asked if I, a theoretical scientist, uh, could uh, solve the structure of this new material. This is what the new material looks like. It's also black with a little red in it. Uh, it's um, not quite transparent and very shiny. To solve crystal structure uh, from a uh, theory when experimental data uh, are not sufficient is an extremely complicated task. In fact, many scientists believe that prediction of the stable crystal structure knowing just the chemical formula is not possible. Angelo Gavizzotti, one of the leaders in this field, uh, wrote an article that a simple answer to the question, 
our crystal structure predictable would be no. And this alone would be a valuable chemical paper. John Maddox, a former editor of Nature magazine, wrote that our inability to predict structures based on just the chemical formula is one of the continuing scandals in physical sciences. The problem of predicting crystal structures can be reduced to the problem of finding the lowest minimum of the free energy, the lowest energy for all possible arrangements of atoms in space. The problem is combinatorially extremely difficult, and uh, for a system containing, let's say, uh, 30 atoms in the unit cell, which is similar to the phase we are looking at now, uh, to go through all possible combinations of atomic positions would take you longer than the age of the universe, even on the most powerful computer today. It's if you sample them one by one, exhaustive search. However, you don't have to do that, and there are ways of simplifying the problem, making it computationally tractable. One of these ways uh, was uh, developed by me and my PhD student Colin Glass. Uh, in our uh, method, we started with the ideas of Darwinian evolution and coupled them with quantum mechanical calculations. So in the first generation, we produce several dozen structures randomly and evaluate the energies of those structures. You can see the lowest energy, the most stable structure from the first generation. It looks random. It looks um, quite disordered and ugly. However, from the best structures of this random generation, we produce children, we produce the second generation, and hopefully the second generation would be better than the first one. And uh, in the second generation, the best structure is now slightly better. And in this second generation best structure, you can see fragments of icosahedral clusters of boron atoms. And icosahedral clusters are the basis of boron chemistry. And in the next generation, we have almost complete icosahedral uh, clusters. And a few generations later, we reconstruct the complete structure of alpha boron. So this test was successful. For the known phase of boron, we have really produced the structure using evolutionary algorithm. Now, what about the new phase of boron, the phase which was synthesized by Chen 